In this video, we will begin to look at points on the plane and how we can give their coordinate address. A coordinate address is made up of two points. In x, comma y, in parentheses. The x comes from the number line, the x-axis going to the right, with a 0 being in the center. Positive numbers to the right and negative numbers to the left. The y comes from a vertical number line with 0 in the middle and positive numbers going up and negative numbers going down. We give these, this address or point as an x, comma, y, telling us how far over and up we need to go to get to a point. To get to point A, we go 1 to the right and we go 4 units up. For this reason, we say the coordinate address of point A is 1, comma, 4. This means we travel 1 on the x-axis, then 4 on the y-axis to get to point A. Similarly, with point B, we start by traveling backwards. Because we travel backwards, we'll say that is a negative number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 units. So the first coordinate for B on the x number line is negative 5. We then travel up 3 units, and this is our y value. We say the coordinates of B are negative 5, comma, 3. Similarly for C, we start with the same pattern. The x tells us how far left and right we must go to get towards the C point. Notice we don't go left or right at all in this case, but simply straight down. This is because the x value is 0, showing no left and right movement, and we go down negative 2 units. C is at the point 0, negative 2. Now that we've found out how we can give the address of a point, let's see if we can find the point given the address. Here we're given the address of 7 points. Point A is at 3, comma, 2. Remember, the first number is the x, the second number is the y, or how far to the right, and then how far up we go. 3, comma, 2 is right 3, up 2, to give us point A. Right 3, up 2, point A. Point B starts with negative 2, meaning we move negative 2 to the right, which would be backwards, left 2, and 1 up, point B. C is at 3, negative 4. Always going to the right first, 3, and then up, negative 4. Up, negative means we're actually moving down, 1, 2, 3, 4 points, to get to point C. D is at negative 2, negative 3. Negative 2 is to the left, and 3 moves us down 3 units to get us to point D. Next, we see E is at negative 3, 0. Negative 3 moves us back 3 on the x-axis, and 0 means we don't move up or down at all. This is point E. F is at 0, 2. 0, the first number, tells us how far left and right to move. 0 means we don't move at all, but the 2 moves us up 2, and we get point F on the y-axis. Our final point is point G at 0, 0. 0 to the left and 0 to the right gives us point G in the middle, on the origin. The first letter, or the first number, is how far left and right we move, positive to the right, negative to the left, and the second number is how far up and down we move, positive up, negative down.